All right, Viking fans, the Eagles have all the ingredients for giving up a big day in the running game. Let's talk about what the chef, Dalvin Cook, has prepared for the Philadelphia Eagles next in 3, 2, 1. Gather around, Skull Brothers and Sisters. This is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, at Skull World. Now make sure you hit subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. I want to hear what you got to think about Dalvin Cook today. Leave me a message. I will answer it. Promise. I will make sure that I answer your questions or comment on what your thoughts are. I would love, love, love to talk about the Vikings and let's get going. All right. Uh, Dalvin cook, the chef. I mean, the Eagles have given him all the ingredients. Chef just got to put it together and serve what he's got cooking. Dalvin cook is ready to go. He looked good. I think he had 20 carries for 90 yards and 18 yards receiving. I forget if I was on three catches or whatever. But the Eagles, they they gave up some rushing yards. Uh, uh, Swift had 15 carries for 144 yards, one TD, a 50-yard long. That was like right out of the gate, if I remember right. Uh, Williams, 11 carries, 28 yards, uh, seven long and Jared Goff had two for nine, but two two running backs given uh, got 181 yards against them. So they they left the holes wide open. All you could drive a truck through it. Um, Detroit, not known for a big time offense, put up almost 400 yards against them, but the running game is where is is where they really laid the wood to the Eagles, and and it's. In talking to Eagles fans, it's almost like they lost. They they won, but they're like they're disappointed that their team isn't as good as they thought they were. That they're well, they're actually their defense isn't good as they thought they were. They're pretty happy with their offense, but we're t- here to talk about Dalvin Cook in the running game. Now, Dalvin Cook, it's almost like he had some, it, you know, almost like he had some help last week. And uh, he's the chef, but there was five guys making pancakes for breakfast because I seen Derisaw, um, I seen Bradbury, I seen, uh, you know, I, I was seeing pancakes by Ingram, and you know O'Neill and Cleveland had a good game. All four, all five of these guys can run block, and they looked good. We, we were able to, you know, there was a short period there where we weren't getting too many yards, but then uh, we turned it on, mixing up with uh, Alexander Madison and Dalvin Cook. But this is, a, this is a game on the road where it's almost, you almost have to run. It's not a friendly environment. It's going to be loud. It's going to be crazy. What better way to shut up a crowd then feed it to Dalvin Cook. Now, I don't want to overuse him. 20 is a little on the high side for what I was expecting, but in in a game like this, 20 is appropriate. 20 carries. He's going to be getting the ball to the backfield too on pass plays, but I I think I think controlling the clock, you know, this may sound like a Zimmer you know, a Zimmer thought process, but I'm when I'm saying controlling the clock, I'm saying getting first downs. And if you're feeding Dalvin Cook with what they pro, uh, proposed in that running game last week with the Eagles, that was not uh, that was not ideal for them. Giving up that many yards on the ground to Detroit, and they were able to come back with a running the ball instead of passing it. And that's and that's what the Packers tried to do against us. We made adjust adjustments late. And we're able to, you know, we're able to hold them to seven yards. Philadelphia Eagles weren't able to do nothing different. They ran all day long on them, and it didn't look good. They're not happy with it. Their fans want their defensive coordinator fired. You know, hopefully after this game, the 
the chef's going to be serving dessert, man, because it's going to be so sweet walking away from Philly with a road win. And I think it'll be centered around Dalvin Cook and that offensive line's blocking ability. Now, the only the only fly in the, the ointment is... is um, is probably Jordan Davis. He only saw 22 snaps. There's a stat out there that they only gave up like 2.6 yards per carry while he was in there. I don't know how many plays were running plays, but he was in there 22 plays. They only they ran for less than three yards when he was in there, but they ran for 10 when he wasn't. Now that's a, a small sample size, but here's the advantage the Vikings have is that they've been running a hurry up. They have uh, been cu- getting to the line of scrimmage with 15 seconds to go on the clock. They're not waiting for it to turn down to zero, and they're getting it going. They're not able to you know, change out personnel as much, at least the Packers weren't. Is that conducive for a rookie 350-pound dude to be playing every down? And if and one of the things we can do is wear their defensive line down by running it. Now, do I still think we'll get – you know, a lot of yards in the air. Heck yeah. I don't think we're going to be held down by that. I think we could we could do what they did. Only 28 carries for 181 yards. That is not out of the question for this offense. If we do that, we win the game. Because our defense is going to play much better than what Detroit did. That was Swiss cheese out there. Our defense is better. We, sh- we showed it last week. We look good. But the key to this game is Dalvin Cook running that ball and controlling that clock, making that defense tired, and then Philly trying to play from behind. Because honestly, if we contain, if we contain uh, Jalen Hurts, and he uh, and he has to try to do a progression of you know the first read to the second read, we're gonna sack him a lot. Because he's looking first reader run, and if we can, if we uh, keep him inside that pocket and collapse on him, uh, he's going to have a bad day. Detroit tried to rush him up the middle. We're not going to do that. We had a lot of lane integrity, and uh, well, we, we may still rush him up the middle, but we understand when we had Tomlinson out there and Harrison Phillips, they were able to push that pocket, and and were able to contain. Um, Aaron Rodgers. So I think we do the same thing, but the key again is Dalvin Cook running that rock. I love it. Let's get let's do it. Let's get Dalvin Cook the ball. Let's give Alexander Madison the ball. Heck, give me some you know, T Y or Ty Chandler, give me some uh Kenny Nwangu. Let's do it. Skull Vikings, see you next time. Cue the music. <laughs> Thank you, Viking fans, for listening. Make sure you catch my other episodes. Also, make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Skull Vikes.